Hi everyone, this is Josh with Josh Wright Piano TV. Today's episode is on having soft a soft thumb. I got a an email from a, a student a couple weeks ago. Um, not my student, but just a student I know through YouTube. And he said, if you could do taming a, a stiff or a tense thumb uh, video, he said, I know it's kind of a weird concept, but that would be great. And so here I am doing it. Um, so if you have questions, you can email me. I'm always looking for new ideas for videos. The exercise that I want to tell you is something I learned from this brilliant teacher. And he said, I, I give this uh, exercise to a lot of students to help them have soft, light fingers. Um, and it really can help you with scales. It can help you if you're trying to play like... Um, I was teaching that to a student the other day, Mendelssohn G, uh, G minor concerto, third movement. Um, fun little piece. Um, gosh, holy smokes. And anyways, uh, there's a lot of light textures in that and I think this concept that I'm going to go over could really help you. It's a it's a very weird exercise. I remember when I first learned it, it was a little hard to get used to. What you do is you go up with your finger, and then you come down lightly. Okay, now with second finger, say up, down. And you go down fast but softly. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You feel your whole hand kind of collapse. You can still have good structure in your hand, but up, down. And when you come down, it's like you're falling into a pool of water almost. It's like you're almost like sinking into something or, or hitting, hitting like a piece of felt rather than like hitting a hard surface like that. You don't want to come down hard. You want to go up, down, and you want to feel your hand collapse. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down. Down, 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 and so forth. And what you can do then is up, down, 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 up, down. And I remember I would just start playing like this. My teacher's like, no, you've gotta you've gotta be on the keys and then come up and then come down. Start on the keys, then come up, then come down. So don't just start playing like this. That's not right. Up, down, up, down. Say it out loud. A lot of students are super lazy and they don't ever say it out loud. I've been in so many lessons just this past seven days where I've said, say this out loud, try this, and then I do the exercise and then they try it without saying it out loud. And then I say, say it out loud, try it again. And then they try it without saying it out loud. Say it out loud, trust me. The reinforcement of saying something out loud will really help. That little exercise helps so much. So if you are doing your scales and... Try it. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You're focusing on, and so if, if you want to make it even simpler, just try this. Up, sorry, up, down, and throw your, throw your hand down, but... Throw your hand down softly. Okay, now try it with your second finger. See how I'm throwing it down, but it's a super soft sound? See how fast you can throw it with getting a soft sound? You, okay, and, and let me just put this in perspective, okay? Because you might be thinking, oh, that's not that soft. This is my normal sound. If I just drop my hand, okay? Now listen. And notice I'm not going slow down into it. I'm actually throwing my hand, but my finger acts like a little shock absorber. So, in order to tame a tense or loud thumb, all you need to do is you need to have a little shock absorber in it. So, a little shock absorber, and it, uh, you can feel a little bit in the wrist, a little shock absorption, but it's, it's in the finger as well. So, see how 
how light those scales are. And, and getting it to be nice and soft is to make sure that your music can sound seamless. So if you're playing a scale, I don't want to hear where you're crossing under. I was teaching, um, I'm not going to be able to play it because I, I, this is a newer piece for me to teach, but the Brahms Ballad number three, it, uh, that goes. I, um, it goes um, something like that. And my, my student was, uh, yesterday I was teaching him and we were kind of going, he's kind of getting noodle fingers a little bit and uh, if I asked him to play louder sometimes he'd, he'd have a little tense thumb and so we kind of went over it. We want soft fingers but active. We want very clean releases but relaxed fingers that have a little bit of shock absorption. That way you can play fast and very clear and bell-like, but you can still have it be super soft. However that goes. And so, this, this concept of a lot of people have like, oh my gosh, why am I accenting uh, randomly? Just have a little bit of a little bit of a shock absorber. Like if you're riding a mountain bike and you're going down and you have shock absorbers, you're not going to feel the rocks beneath you as much because of that give. Same thing in a car. Same thing if you're wearing uh, padded shoes. You don't feel the ground uh, as you would if you were just wearing bare feet. So I hope this concept has been helpful. I believe the email came from Komio Foruria, or however you say, um, that name, so sorry if I botched your name, but I, I believe that's who uh, that request came from, so I'd like to dedicate the video to him. If any else, if, if any other, if anyone else has any questions, um, you can email me. My email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. Also, if you don't mind subscribing or sharing or commenting on this video or liking it so it can be shared with as many people as possible, I would truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support of Josh Wright Piano TV. Have a great week.